Now, when I say globalization is everywhere, I mean, I, it really has infected our everyday lives to the point where our most commonplace headlines seem to reek of globalization. What do I mean? Take, for example, the headlines just a little over a decade ago about the tragic death of Princess Diana. What's that got to do with globalization, you may ask? Well, think of it this way. An English princess with a Welsh title leaves a French hotel with an Egyptian companion who has supplanted a Pakistani. She gets into a German car with a Dutch engine that is driven by a Belgian chauffeur full of Scottish whiskey. They're then chased by Italian paparazzi on Japanese scooters and mobikes into a Swiss-built tunnel where they crash. A rescue is briefly attempted by an American doctor using Brazilian medicines, and the whole story is told to you in Boston by the Indian MP from Tiruvananthapuram. That's globalization.